Welcome back, King of Fighters fans. This go round, I'm going to take a look at a PS2 game. And that PS2 game is King of Fighters 99 Evolution or Evo. Initially, it was brought to the um, Dreamcast as an upgrade from the Neo Geo um, original ROM. Um, basically, what's so upgradey about it? Basically, the backgrounds. Backgrounds have been changed and feature um, 3D pre-rendered um, sprites. And some of them look really, really nice and actually showcase what the Dreamcast could initially do um, back in um, the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, yeah, so King of Fighters 99, a story begins with the Ness Saga. And the Ness Saga is basically where um, the whole Ness organization is creating these Kyo clones in order to take over the Earth, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to boggle you down too much with the story, but it continues till 2001. And, um, yeah, the thing is, is that another thing that's new about this game is instead of picking um, three characters, you're picking four. Your fourth character is your striker. And the strikers are used very similar to the Marvel series. And the Marvel series, um, what you call it, they're used uh, to aid or uh, help you on any type of pinch and all. And it can be used for combos, super death moves, whatever you want to do to set up different things. Or just used uh, to def like most likely deflect a projectile, if nothing else. So, yeah. Also, the new protagonist in here is called uh, K-Dash. And another thing to be mentioned is that initially, original Kyo and Iori are missing. Now, from what I understand, the Dreamcast, they were um, unlockable. I don't know how to do it in the PS2 version. Also, you saw on the title screen that Seth and Vanessa um, are showcased in the, um, in the intro. But they're not playable characters here. They're only playable in King of Fighters 2000. But here, they're featured as um, strikers. So, yeah. Um, okay, so let's just get into the game, shall we? Um, also, another character is Krizali. You can pick from him, too. Not exactly sure. I gotta really, like, check into that. But, yeah. Um, and Krizali is the last boss. Alright, let's go for a team play. All the teams have been kind of, um, mixed up. Okay, here's Krizali. I actually never paid attention to his ass. Um, alright, let's go pick the women's. Alright, let's pick some women's. -es. Alright, he's here, and I'll go for Kasume. Alright, now you're going to be able to um, select your order. Okay, going to go for her, 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 and Kasumi will be my striker. And each one, if you're picked as a striker, will focus as a different character using a, uh, a different type of move. So, no two strikers are alike. As you can see, the intro, um, very cool for the amusement park. Um, yeah, so there's two uh, modes in here that are featured. just called counter mode and armor mode. And um, counter mode will allow you to, once your stocks are built up, if you look where it says POW up in the corner, um, in the top corners, if you keep building the stock up and you go into counter mode, you can perform your super death move infinitely until it runs out. Also, you can perform um, counter cancels and things of that nature. Then there's armor mode where your character um, will counter mode you go into like a reddish color and armor mode you go into yellow. And armor mode basically um, allows you to absorb damage and take minimal challenge. So let's say if you're um, getting hit you just like walk through the punch or the kick and continue to attack. So, yeah, so each one has absolutely um, a unique purpose to it. So, yeah, so it's not like it's, it's worthless. Um, yeah, uh, also, here's another good, weird feature. For some reason, for this version, they change up the way how you dodge. Whereas 1996, 97, 98 featured um, the rolling technique. Here you have a slide technique, if you see right there. And um, the slide's pretty unique, but for people who are newcomers or um, playing the King of Fighters, it might be a little off if you've never played 99. 
So it takes some time really getting used to. I'm not saying that it's worthless by no means. It does work. But um, you have to know how to use it properly. So, and also if you try to slide back, if you see there, you take a hop back and you dash forward. Now, if used correctly, it could be used as a real um, good, um, you know, like, an, uh, like a defensive move. If you know what you're doing. Also, they have this battle um, ability. You get these different points for how well you perform. I'm not exactly sure, to be honest with you, with the criteria in order to make it up, go up. But you can go up and you can go down on it. So, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, I never really gave a shit about it. Um, Alright, let's go to same. Uh, pick this one, this one, and of course I'll still pick her. Um, yeah, so, like, the backgrounds are different. They're completely unique. Either they're completely unique or they took a new spin on them. Such as this stage right here. You have the, um, the museum stage. Now, in King of Fighters 99, the original, uh, ROM for the Neo Geo, this, it was probably one of the worst stage, but here they actually, um, made it actually a nice looking stage. Now, here's the difference between, as far as backgrounds between the, the ROM version, Neo Geo, um, and when I mean ROM is like the AS, MVS, etc., is, uh, the backgrounds, oh shit, the backgrounds will change every round, except for the museum stage, I'm pretty sure. So, every single round, it was changing to either a daylight time, or just completely in general. And it, it looked really nice, and it was really nice, I gotta give it that. Here they don't. I don't know why, maybe it has something to do with maybe a Dreamcast issue, a limitation, I don't know. But the, the, the backgrounds are actually a welcome addition. You know, different things you see in the background. Like when I use it, you can see the, um, the head of the, uh, looks like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. You know, bounces up and down. So it's really cool. There's a lot of nice effects in here. Um, the game still retains the original sprite from the Neo Geo ROM. Like I said, the only thing is the backgrounds are completely different. Um... There's hidden characters, like I mentioned, Chrysalid, there's the original uh, Kyo, um, Iori. I don't know how to get them. I don't know. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. But, yeah, and like I said, the protagonist is a guy named K-Dash. So, and the purpose was to focus more on K-Dash than Iori and um, Kyo. So, it took some time for people to get really used to it, not having, <coughs> excuse me, having, um... You're in Kyo in, in the game, so it's not exactly, it wasn't really welcomed with um, open arms. See the point down system. So, yeah, they are selectable um, as like hidden characters, etc. And there's some unique strikers that are put into the game and things like that. Some are like fan favorites, things of that nature. Like, initially, the um, developers wanted to do uh, a Robo Army team. But um, the, it, that initially never set off. And the Robo Army, if people play as a side-scrolling um, beat-em-up. But they became Strikers in 2000, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So, all in all, what do I think about the game? Um, believe it or not, I actually like this more than the actual original Neo Geo, to be honest with you. Because I enjoy the backgrounds, um, I like the arranged soundtrack. Which the arranged soundtrack initially comes from, I believe, the Neo CD version of this game. And I like it. Um, I'm pretty sure it's set to it. Um, so it's really cool to have, you know, you can have, you know, the original or the arranged. And it, what I'm playing on right here is what they call the NES Saga. It's on the PS2. It's a collection of 99, 2000, 2001. And like I said, I've never played the Evo version for the Dreamcast. And I'm not, like I said, I don't know if I mentioned before that I'm not going to go out and just buy one game for the Dreamcast. It just, that shit is just not happening. But, um, yeah, definitely check this game out. I think it's really fun to play. It's out on the virtual blah blah and the PSN whatever and all that other jazz shit. Check it out. I think it's a really good game. It's very entertaining. Even though it doesn't have the amount of characters that um, 98 offers, I think it has a lot of charm to it. And it, uh, in my personal opinion, I think this game gets forgotten about. Like, nobody really ever talks about this game. So, I think it's passed by, but I think it has a lot of cool features and stuff like that. 
And um, while some of the new characters are pretty cool, like Kate Ash is actually a really cool character, but characters such as Bao, um, he's annoying as shit. Um, and then J and uh, Kim's new, I guess, disciple, uh, John is pretty cool. So you do have a nice mix and all. And uh, yeah, so uh, check it out. I'm going to leave you with a tad more gameplay, and I'm out of here. This is probably one of the better backgrounds. This is really cool. Show you what the strikers real quickly. Oh, that didn't do shit. So that wasn't exactly much of an example, was it? I guess I have to get closer. <laughs> Alright then, um, like I said, check this game out any way, shape, or form. Even though, like I said, I don't recommend emulation, check it out. I think you'll really enjoy it, and uh, it's definitely worth your time and uh, effort. Take care.